you guys know that I'm trying to lose this baby weight, but you guys know I love a good snack. That's why I eat Puff, a line of Puff that tastes so good. They come in five different flavors. My favorite is grocery store cheddar. You guys can grab yours by checking out their website using discount code SNACK15. squad welcome back to another episode of v girl tv if you are watching if you are listening welcome to the v girl podcast so the reason why i'm actually um shooting this video and recording this today is because one of my subscribers had left um a question in the comment section and I didn't answer the question because we had ran out of time, but I, I thought about it and I was saying to myself, you know what, this is actually a really, really good question, right? So her question to me was, how do you balance everything? You being a mom, you owning businesses, you creating content, um, balancing family time, like how do you actually do it? And the reason why I decided to even make a video specifically to this topic is simply because a lot of times we see people, and this is social media, right? And social media, we don't put our lows, all right? A lot of us don't put our lows when we're going through things. We actually don't put any of that on Front Street. And with me, I typically don't put any put my struggles on social media either and trust me guys I says to be struggling okay I struggle okay I'm not gonna sit here and lie and pretend like I am I have this whole thing figured out because I absolutely do not have things figured out okay but regardless if I don't have things figured out I try to put certain things in place so that I am not um, either overworking myself or I don't fall into a situation where I am extra stressed out. I try not to be stressed out because if I'm stressed out, then I'm not going to be, be able to be 100% for my kids. And unfortunately, children don't, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately because it's not unfortunate, but children should not suffer because of us, the parents. And a lot of times it's a lot. It can be a lot for us. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, oh, no, it's not a lot. It's a lot. Parenting is a lot. And then on top of you parenting, your mental health and whenever you're going through stressful situations, you have to be able to manage your emotions so that your it doesn't affect your kids. And I want to I know this is a little bit off topic, but I, I was watching the news one day and I saw in Brooklyn that a mom drowned her kids in the Coney Island Beach, right? And everyone knew that this woman was going through something mentally. She had, what, two, three kids and or two kids and a, a three-month-old baby. And one of the kids' father had actually reported her and was saying that they were scared that she allegedly that she was going to do something to the kids, just according to the news. And she actually ended up doing something to the kids. So I do want to advocate that if you see a mom that's struggling, if you're a mom and you see another mom struggling, if you are a husband and you see your wife struggling, help that woman, okay? Because it's a lot, like being a wife, being a significant other, being a mother, having to take care of certain things financially it can definitely be a lot and it can take a toll on a person so i would say that if you if you even if you're a friend check on your friend okay i know that we all got things that's going on in our lives but check on your friends with that being said back to the question at hand is how do i literally handle everything when I actually moved here, I only had my son at the time. If you guys have been following me for a while, you would already know that. But for the new the newbies, okay, who are just getting to know me, when I first moved to Panama, it was literally just my son and I. Yes, I had my parents here. My parents do live in another location. I don't live with my parents. But um, it, I just had my son, right? And at the time, my son was five years old. He wasn't 
four or five, like around that age. He wasn't like a newborn, newborn, but he still wasn't able, like he can talk, he was able to talk and tell me what he wanted. So the situation is a little bit different now that I have my daughter because my daughter is a newborn, right? She does it, she just cries, okay, if something is wrong. So the question is, how am I able to handle everything? And I will be very honest and very transparent because you guys know that I am all about transparency and being transparent. I actually have help, okay? I know not everybody will be able to afford this, and this is no way, shape, or form me trying to project my lifestyle because, child, I'm not projecting a lifestyle because I'm struggling just like the rest of you guys, okay? <laughs> Believe it or not, I may not be struggling to a certain magnitude of struggle, but your girl, I'm still struggling. Well, with that being said, um, I do have help. So what I try to do is keep a schedule. So in order for me to get everything done completely, I literally have to set my mind into work mode. Like, okay, I'm going to set a work schedule as if I was working with for someone else. When you are an entrepreneur, it's really hard to keep a mindset like okay I'm going to I'm going to go to work right we can really get wrapped into either it can either go one or two ways it can either go one way where you feel lazy and you're not motivated or two you actually become the worker okay and you forget everything else and the reason why I'm saying this is because I was that person at one point I literally was working so much that I forgot that I had people working for me and the reason why, as an entrepreneur, you entrepreneur, you hire people to work for you is so that it could alleviate certain, certain responsibilities off of you. Um, but I found myself constantly working, and I, and I was actually like, it was a point where I was working so much that my son was just with the babysitter all the time. I would go to work at 10 o'clock. I would come home at 7 o'clock. I was too tired. And I realized that that is not what I wanted. But unfortunately, there is a thing here in Panama. And when I first got here, it was really a struggle to figure out where I fit in and how things ran. Because I expected things to be like the U.S. And unfortunately, things were not like the U.S. Well, it shouldn't be unfortunately, but things were not like the U.S., right? So the laws were different. Um... Just a lot of things were just different from what I was typically used to, you know, um, getting to know people, um, people not liking me because their own personal insecurities, not specifically because of something that I did um, per se, but just because of who I was, right? So me coming into this thinking, okay, well, it's going to be like America, there are going to be certain things in place. Yeah, no. So I was literally like adapting and getting used to the workflow here. So I found myself neglecting my son until one day my dad said like, you know, you have to sit down and you have to find time. Like you have to figure out time. And I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. Because I spent all my time in the store, even though I had people working for me. Um, at that time, I said, okay, well, I'm, I, I wasn't doing social media. I wasn't doing YouTube. I wasn't doing any of those things at that time. So to me, it really, um, I had a lot of free time, I would say. So what I would do is just break up my time. I would work from one time to another time, and then I'll be home. Even though my son had a babysitter, I would be home to give him his lunch. Or not his lunch, I'm sorry, to give him his um, his dinner. I would also make sure that I was at every single open school night, whatever games or whatever he had, I was always there. Okay. So that's how I managed it then. But now, okay. With me running several social media accounts. Okay. And when I say several, it's about five different social media accounts. And with me running my main page and me now running my website, which if you guys have not had a chance to look at that, okay, you know, I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to plug it in. Um, www.vgirltv.com is now live, guys. So you want to check that out. Um, and adding new things to the website, I realized that my workload is a lot. And I have not found any one right now to help me. Literally, I am the one that is recording the videos, producing the videos, editing the videos, um, 
creating contact, writing blogs, sending out newsletters, taking my own pictures, which I really haven't even had an opportunity to do any of that, um, thinking of different content, being a mother, still running the other store, creating content for that store. So I haven't found that help yet to help me out in that category. However, I did find help to help me in the category of my home. So what I do is I clock in at 10 o'clock mentally, okay, because I need sleep, okay, I just work longer hours, and I just work as if I was working my regular job. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that sometimes I do not fall short because I do fall short, hence why this video that I'm actually filming, it is very late while I'm filming it, but I set my, my goal that I had to record a video today. Even if I didn't edit it, it had to be recorded and ready to go. So by any means necessary. So I set my mind that I'm going to record this amount of videos. I have this little thing on my side with all my goals and the things that I actually want to accomplish for the day. So every time I'm sitting down in front of the computer or in front of the microphone, I have this reminder of the things, my goals and the things that I am trying to get done, right? Um, so that is also something that helps me out a lot. And I also try to keep a, a schedule and maintain a schedule. If you are a single mom, maintaining a schedule is going to help you a lot, okay? If you can get help, meaning childcare, get childcare if you can, okay? I know that there are certain states where they assist you with childcare. Me personally, I don't really like um, daycare centers per se. I feel more comfortable with my daughter being home. So having an in-house nanny for me was super important. Um, so that's how I manage that. So I manage, um, I have days where I'm set aside just to record videos, days that I have set aside just to edit videos, days that I have set aside just to make thumbnails, marketing material, anything that has to do with editing. I have days specifically to, um, geared towards specifically that. And then I have my weekend free for just my kids and my family. One thing that I realize is that I am not going to be working myself to death to the point where my kids don't have their mom and I'm not spending time with my family, okay? Money is, is going to come and go, but family is always there. God first and then family. So that has always been my motto. I'm not going to lie and say that sometimes I don't slip up and sometimes I don't like fall off track. But for the most part, I try to be consistent when that, when, with that per se. Now, as far as my business is concerned, business has been a struggle because I have gone through several personnel. If you live in Panama and if you're trying to open up a business in Panama, I'm not going to lie to you. Finding personnel, and I mean, I shouldn't even say that this is a Panama issue because I know people that have businesses in the States and they too experience the same trials and tribulations that I'm experiencing. But I, I say this to say, finding good people to work for you, finding loyal people to work for you, finding people that really believe in your vision, because I always, I'm the type of person that I feel like if I am able to succeed, everybody who was there for me, with me, rocking with me from the beginning, I'm going to take those people with me, okay? If I have an opportunity to help out somebody else through my platform, people that were there for me from day one, I'm going to do it. So finding loyal people to work for me was a struggle for a while. I went through a lot of different personnel. I've had people who stole from me. I have people who... you. You name it, they, they've done it. People who pretended that they were loyal and they did have um, my best interest or the best interest in the business, but in reality, that was not the case. And that also stopped me, or not stopped me, that actually slowed me down when it came to certain things um, to help elevate and advance 
what I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to go as a businesswoman, as a mother, as a woman, as a black woman, as all those things. Um, but I'm getting there. I'm working at it. And every day is a learning experience. Every day I just I try to ask God to put positive people in my life, positive people in my path, people that mean well. And I think that's super important, guys. So if you are a spiritual person, if you believe in God, I would say stay prayed up. Definitely stay prayed up. God will put amazing people in your life if you are willing to have the spirit of discernment and if you are have your ears open and your eyes open especially okay i learned that the hard way i would think that anybody who would come and smile at me he he meant good intentions but my mother always say in, in, in i'm gonna translate it in english because in spanish you probably wouldn't understand but she always says the face you see but the heart you don't okay so with that being said People will present themselves as certain things, but you really don't know what their true intentions is. So it takes a while to figure people out. And I, 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 lot, I learned a lot of this with experience. And as I've grown, as, and as I've grown into becoming a mature woman and experience, a lot of my experience helped me to figure those things out. So I definitely would say that that's another um, thing that I, I learned. And through the process... God willing, the people that I have now, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they are um, in for the long haul. And I hope that they, if they are watching this, I hope they see my vision and see that if you stick around long enough and if I'm able to get to that level, I'm definitely going to help you out as well. So. That's another thing that helps me stay grounded is that I know that I'm doing this not solely for me, but to help out people that or help out people that don't have that voice. Right. I know how difficult it is for those of you who was following me from day one when I only had 25 subscribers to now we're at a little over 5000 subscribers it may not be a lot, but it's a lot for me. And for those of you who've seen my journey and seen how far I've come, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So if I made it this far, I'm quite sure that I'll be able to make it further. And once I make it further, I'm definitely going to have to hire a team of people to help me get to that other level, which will then open up opportunities for other people in fields that they may not have been able to have those opportunities for other reasons, right? And I feel like and I'm going off a tangent, right? But I feel like here in Panama, there's so much creative beings. There's so much creative creativity. There's so much creative people. And I feel like that's one of my goals actually is, yes, to create this major media platform. But once I do create this media platform, I definitely want to open it up and give opportunities to the younger generation of creatives that are following behind me. Like, um, And not to go off on a whole tangent, but... One of the girls that actually worked for me, she's so talented, but she doesn't even see the talent that I see in her. Like, she's so talented, talented. I see the potential in her. So I'm just hoping that... I'm just hoping that I'm able to get where I need to get so that I can bring these people along with me. So back to balancing other that... Um, back, back to balancing all of that... Um, having a schedule, like I said, and sticking to the schedule. And I think that's the hardest thing to do. Um, but for the most part, I've been sticking to the schedule. Um, and having a planner, guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. If you can get a planner, I'm a visual person, right? So everything that I need to be done, I literally have to write everything down. Like I have to have everything written down so I can visually see it. Like I said, I have this, uh, this little sheet here on the wall with my goals because I need to be able to see it so that I'm able to say, okay, this is what I need to get done. So having a planner, I think it's also super important to help you um, get to that next level and to help you balance everything out. For those of you who do want to move to Panama and you do have children and you don't have a significant other, I will say that it is doable. You can do it. It's going to be difficult but it's something that could be done. I don't want you to um, 
what is that? It's, there's a saying, right? Comparison, okay? Comparison is the theft of joy, right? Comparison is the theft of joy. So comparing yourself to someone else is actually going to take away the moment from you. So I don't want you to look at my situation and say or feel some type of way because you're not um, in the same situation that I'm in or you feel like... Um, I'm living this life, okay? It's not easy, okay? It's not easy. I deal with struggles sometimes. I deal with struggles every day. I should say different type of struggles. Um, but it's not easy. I will say that nothing easy, nothing, 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 what is it with the word? I don't even know what the heck is it. Nothing if you want something, it's not gonna come easy. That's basically what I'm gonna say, what I'm trying to say. Like, you have to work at it. Work at it. Um, don't let social media deter you or make social media think that you're doing something wrong. I see a lot of these pages with people moving across, moving abroad, and um, they make it seem like everything is so perfect and everything is all great. It's okay if you moved, moved abroad and you're struggling. It's okay, okay? Don't compare yourself to other people. Um, and just take your time, right? That's what I do. I, I just take my time and I just take one day at a time. Um, one thing I would advocate for is therapy. I personally have never taken, well, I shouldn't say that I never took a therapy session because in high school, I was part of this group called Spark. And then we did have a counselor where you can express your feelings or whatever. And I actually really liked it. Um, I am trying to get a therapist now, not because there's anything wrong with me per se, but sometimes you just need that extra outlet to let let things out. Um, so yeah, I would ex I would advocate for therapy if you feel like you need it, or even if you don't need it and you need someone just to talk to, therapy um, is also another way that can help you balance everything out. Mental health is so important, guys. So having any outlet to stimulate or to relax your mind is super important. So um, that's another, um, that's another what's the word I want to say? That's another way of being organized is seeking therapy, right? I, like I said, I don't have a therapist per se, but I do have a friend that whenever I'm going through entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial hardship, I definitely reach out to her. Well, we reach out to each other and we feed off each other and we can vent about a lot of things or whatever that you may not feel like you can vent with, with other people. So that's the way I really balance everything out. Um, I don't want to make this too long, guys. Um, but I hope that you guys found this super helpful. I hope that you guys actually liked this video slash podcast. And if you haven't already, make sure you are liking and subscribing. And if you have any other tips that you can help someone else, leave it in the comment section below. Let's build a community where we can help one another and not mere, merely just take from one another, right? You are watching here, but there are other people that read the comments. So don't think that you leaving a comment is going to be unseen or unread because even if I don't get to it, there are other people that are reading as well. So thank you always for tuning in. If you are listening on the V Girl podcast, thank you guys. I love you guys. And thank you for staying down from the beginning. If you are watching on the channel, B Girl TV on YouTube. Thank you so much to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for those of you who have donated to the channel. Thank you so much to those of you who have become members. Don't forget, bgirltv.com is actually live. So subscribe to our mailing list so that you will receive weekly, uh, weekly newsletters and You'll know when events are going on in Panama. So we do have, I do have a lot of things planned for in the future. And I would love for you guys to stay up to date. So thank you always for tuning in. Peace and love.